Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here and let's wake up my football gods up top there. Wake up, guys. Wake up. And I've got an addition. I've actually got to get this together. Uh, remember, if you watched our live stream last night, you saw, and, and I don't even want to, I, I need to get white gloves on it. But you saw this that came yesterday, a football autographed from Zeppelin fan, um, who Zeppelin fan sent it to me. Best wishes, Tom Landry. You know, football is um, definitely in, 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 you know, it's, it's old. It's old and wrinkly like me. But I am going to uh, put that in. I got this case right here ultraviolet protected it's going to go in here and i may put it up here or i may put it down here I'm not, I'm not sure but it's going to be in a place of honor for sure so i've got to figure that out but i hope you guys tune in tonight 9 45 we're going to start a live stream uh, a watch party for uh hard knocks you know it's going to be interesting to see what they have to say about the cowboys you know they're going to give us a hard way to go and everything but you know what i don't care I really don't care uh, what the pundits out there have to say. It's entertainment. And besides, with the Dallas Cowboys, who has more television cameras there, with or without hard knocks, than, than, than anybody else? They're just hating on our Cowboys. You know, I went to Canton, had a great time. And in fact, uh, that was a trip of a lifetime. Hanging with my boys was the biggest part of it. You know, waking up in the morning, going over to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, seeing our Cowboys in the first preseason game in two years, and learning a lot more about the team I grew up loving from the men that actually were there. And the question is, who out there are the future Hall of Famers for our Dallas Cowboys? I've played last night during our live stream a clip of the original 88, although he'll admit that he wasn't the original, but he definitely took it to new heights. And then Michael Irvin took that number over. And as Drew put it, my floor, excuse me, my ceiling should be your floor. And in a way, let us know what the number 88 means. And I kind of put it out there that it's a message sent to CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb has been everything that we could have imagined last year as a rookie. Sometimes you get rookies and it takes a few years for them to develop. He came out of the box and played outstanding, especially considering that he played for four different quarterbacks last year without an offseason, without OTAs, and a shortened um, preseason. No preseason games, but training camp. And looking at him right now, you look and say, maybe we got the steal of the draft. Nobody expected CeeDee Lamb to fall to where we got him. And here's what I actually love hearing. You, you must stay hungry in life. You must constantly be working. What happens to a lot of players is they have early success and then they kind of kick back and figure, I've made it. I'm the guy. Everybody already knows you know, who I am. And they don't have that hunger and that drive that got them there. And that's why you have the sophomore slump. Well, here it is, CeeDee Lamb, who is quoted as saying, until I get one of those gold jackets, I'm working. That literally is music to my ears. You can never relax. Because, you know, the funny thing in life is, there's been a lot of really big things, big people, great actors, actor of the year, you know, sexiest man in alive, who now can't even get on a commercial. You've got businesses, Fortune 500 companies that you knew, oh, they're never going to go anywhere. They kick back. They don't evolve. They don't change. They don't strive to get better. They figured we are already here. And then the startups, the young pups, the guys with hunger, figure out what you do and learn how to do it better for less. And you become irrelevant. 
there's 354 players of all the people who have ever played in the football, in NFL. Actually, more than just the NFL. USFL, uh, every professional football league. There's 354 total. The chances are slim to none of getting there. But the only way you're going to get there is to bust your ass. And I have to, you know, you're all going to get sick of it. But when I'm right, I'm right. You've heard me play Dan Quinn talking about fast and physical. He said that back after they won the, with the Legion of Boom, their first Super Bowl. And you could see that translating to the Dallas Cowboys defense. We'll find out how fast and physical they are this year. But when I heard Drew Pearson and Michael Irving up there with the number 88, to me, it was a message to C.D. Lamb. And I want you guys, don't take my word for it. Take it from the man himself. Three Pro Bowls. Man, that, that should be enough to qualify the Ring of Honor. Come on, Cowboys. Get with it. Hey. Hey, Drew. You know what I did with number 88? I made something happen with it. When I retired, I called myself the original 88. Amen. Now, nobody said nothing, so I just kept going with it because I'm not the original 88. The reason 88 was available when I got there is because they traded Ron Sellers to Miami Dolphins. So 88 was available. When I made the team as a rookie, I had a choice of numbers to pick. 81 was available. Oh, man, come on. Give me something. <laughs> Golden Richards took 83. He was second round. Billy Joe Dupree took 89. He was first round draft pick. 85. Ah. But all of a sudden, I saw 88, 88, 88, had a ring to it. As a matter of fact, the first week of training camp, I was so small, they only had an eight on my back. Right? <laughs> eight on my back. But you know what? I did something with that 88. I made something out of that 88. And now we got a legacy going. And the only reason we got an legacy, legacy going with that number is because the next guy took it and did something with it. Okay? All right? And when this next guy came to Dallas, Scott Murray sent me out to the airport to do an assignment to get the interview, all right? I go out there and interview Michael. He gets off the plane. You know how Michael does. He's kissing you all up on the air and everything. <laughs> He's hugging me and everything. True, true, true. He said, true, guess what? They want me to wear number 88. Is it okay? I said, Michael, first of all, it ain't my number. Second of all, if you wear it, don't do what I did it. Do more than that. Yeah. And what did he do? Huh? More. Three Super Bowls as a team player and a Hall of Fame career as a receiver. Let's get up here. Number 88, Michael Allen. That's why we got a legacy going because he took it the next step. Come on, Mike. Come on up here. Why you keep wearing all that tight stuff, man? <laughs> you know you old. <laughs> Look at him, he still like I can play. Michael Irvin, y'all. All right, brother. God bless you, man. Finally got the 88s together. This is a photo op, I'm telling you, right here. Get your cameras ready. All right, that's enough. Michael Irvin, y'all. Uh, this is, this is all about Drew here. And, and, and let me say this. What's perfect about Drew? I always say I measure men in distance travel. Drew being number 88 for the Dallas Cowboys, who's America's team, is such a perfect story because it's everything that we hope to represent here in America. He fought his way up. That means everybody has a chance to fight their way up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, he went through some struggles, but in the end, he always wins. That's because right. Because clutch makes the play. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. We just went through all kinds of struggles, but we want to know in the end, we will always win because clutch makes the play. When it's all, everybody seems like we don't have a chance.
just hold up and say, Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Here comes Drew. Thank you, Drew, for being a great representation of what America's team is all about. We love you so much. Right on, so profound, Michael. Thank you so much. All right, so CD, don't do what Drew Pearson did. Don't do what Michael Irvin did. You take 88 to new heights. Drew Pearson and Michael Irving's ceiling needs to be your floor. I like to call you Mr. Flypaper Hands because looking at you in training camp this year, it seems like you literally are catching everything. Everything is sticking to you like flypaper. And I'm hoping that one day I can be there, God willing, if I'm still around, to see you inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Hope I see you guys tonight. We'll be kicking off at 945 uh, Eastern for the Hard Knocks premiere of the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, you know how we roll. I don't get dressed up very often, but when I do, it's to go hang with the Pearson. Stay thirsty, my friends.